or setting up the, the laser. Definitely want to hold on to this little plug that covers the laser window. Don't discard it. I'm going to place a shroud on the laser that indexes on this key in the back. Click it into place. The shroud then covers the handle and these little ribs turn the laser on. So we want to have the ribs aligned on them. <clears throat> Next, we want to place a disposable tip on the laser. Should be disposed of in the sharps container when you're done. Simply screws in to the front. Make sure that the tip is parallel to the long axis of the body. If it's not, unscrew it and try it again. The tip can be bent, but not at an acute angle. Next, we're going to apply the battery. It can go on either end which will turn the device on. We press the button three inwards three times. Uh, that's the safety device. And then we're going to select our procedure. Touchy. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful not to push in on this while you're selecting or scrolling up or down. The phrenectomy setting. And there's the aptus ulcer setting. We're going to push in to select it, and it's going to ask us to initiate the tip. The green light and the solid glowing red indicate that it is ready to fire. But at this point in time, the red is just an aiming beam. It is not uh, emanating any laser energy. To initiate the tip, we're going to squeeze and you can see that it is working. We're going to place the tip in one, two, three. Count one, two, bringing it out. And then fire it into the air one time. Which will burn off that material from initiation. <laughs> 